the last time we spoke, we spoke about your, your brilliant book, Profiling the 90s Knicks. And that book meant a lot to me because that team meant a lot to me. That was my my introduction to the Knicks. That was how my fandom started and how I became a diehard. And the reason I feel like it's perfect now is because I just feel like that energy is back. You know, that that energy is back, not just for my era, but the older generation. You know, Chuck D's called on the show many times talking about it. The younger generation now has, you know, something of substance here that they can really get behind, something that has some sustainability. At least it seems like that. So that's why I brought you on, man, because I just see the parallels to the 90s starting to, to come alive here. Man, I mean, when you have a, a row full of guys from that team sitting courtside, I yeah. mean, that it's... I, I, it's funny because on some level you kind of sit sometimes and wonder, you know, these guys stay attached to the league. They, you know, I think they've wanted to be diehard loyal fans of the Knicks for all these years. Probably been difficult at times just with how much they've struggled. But I mean, when you watch Josh Hart crash into the crowd and stuff like that, and you, you see Starks helping him up. It's, it's nuts. You, you watch yeah. these, uh, even the ESPN promos that they did to start the playoffs where you've got, you know, uh, you name it, Moses Malone passing the ball to Embiid or something like that. Then you literally have, granted, it's not exactly the same thing, but you have Starks literally helping uh, up Josh. I mean, it's it's a little nuts to watch yeah. it happen, but it's cool to watch them rooting for a team that since they stopped playing for the Knicks, really the first team that has really fully emulated uh, what they did during the 90s. I had, you know, editors asking me last year and the year before when the Knicks were in the playoffs, do you think you can write something tying the teams together? And I, you know, because I'd written the book and had worked on it and done the research and the interviews. And I was like, I get it, but I don't think it's valid. Yeah, and yeah. and now I feel like fully, this team has really kind of developed a full on identity of this is exactly what they are. And more or less, you can't play for this team unless that's what you are. And uh, so it's really yeah. cool to watch it. It's cool to see the the nineties teams embrace them the way they have because they really do embody that same spirit oh man no question and like you said stocks man i talked about it from game one because i was at game one and i, I was in that same section where stocks was he was on the court mm -hmm. and, and i tweeted out i said yo john stocks he's playing he's out there like it's this is 92 like he's on the yep. court after every <laughs> dead ball screaming at the referees like i feel like he was right there on the bench after game two he gives josh hart a big hug and you know i i look at a guy like a heart and I see that. I see that spirit of a Starks, the versatility of a Mason, you know, 22 offensive rebounds in this series. That just says New York grit, man. He's tailor-made. All these guys are, are beginning to, to have that identity, man. It, it's great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there, there's something to be said. I can't remember. I, I pulled this stat a few years ago. With the exception of a couple teams, that 12-13 that team that I covered with Mello, um, they were one of the few exceptions, but generally speaking, when you look at the last 30 years of Knicks basketball, if the Knicks weren't playing defense, they essentially had no chance Outta to here. really, you know, to accomplish something. And um, so it doesn't, it, it, it's been amazing to watch the Knicks kind of reach this point of consistency, but generally speaking, this has always been the sort of style they've needed to play for the last three decades, really to have a team that had a chance to accomplish something bigger. And, yeah. uh, so it's 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 been cool to watch, but it's not the ethos of the franchise has kind of always been this. Even during those seventies years when they won the titles, they had good offense, but they still were really really good defensive teams. And I think that's just it's always been the missing part of the recipe. So it's been it's been interesting to see that part back in full effect. <laughs>